the, the things that uh, jump off the map, we talked about this past weekend, is the fact that it took the first period of both games for us to kind of realize that we were back in game mode. Um, up at Gustavus, uh, we, we forgot what it's like to play in somebody else's barn, the energy that you need, the intensity. And so, but we, we responded well. And then uh, Saturday night, it was a little bit the human nature. We had won the night before, and Gus Davis was desperate and angry. And they came out, and they just took it to us. They outshot us 16-6. to six. But again, we recognized what we had to do, and we were able to respond. So, you know, we're, you can use the word resilient, or we figured things out. And uh, we like to tell our kids that every game is a riddle with no textbook answer. And so, you know, we had to kind of figure it out as we went, and we were able to do that last weekend. It's funny thing about Noah, like when you do off ice testing or you do other things that relate to being an athlete, uh, he ranks as one of our best athletes. Uh, both his vertical jump and his hand speed. Uh, I mean, uh, he's a very fine golfer. Uh, the thing that you would say he's very athletic. Uh, the thing that I think makes him a really good goaltender is being athletic, but he's really calm between the ears. He doesn't panic, and you can see his athleticism and. And, uh, you know, so I, I think our guys aren't too surprised at the success that he's had because even in practice, he's tough to score on. He's taken that and translated that into games a little bit. So I think the guys have been around him and kind of thought he would be a good goaltender for us. He's had that opportunity now with the injury to Eric, and he's kind of playing to that. Well, I, I, I think that we're a group that I don't think we're the most talented group in the, in the MIAC, and we're going to have to rely on our ability to work hard. And so... We do that in practice, we talk about that. Um, and so they just kind of played to that that bugle, if you will. They, they knew what they had to do, they went out there and uh, didn't quit at all and just kept trying to plug away and found a way to get it done.